So feel free to check out Patreon for the uncut and early reaction guys and I hope you enjoy this reaction. Hey guys, Trevor Quickly here today with we're back with High Q Season 2 Episode 11. So last episode, all the cogs are in place, everyone's working, every, we're just gonna go over a few flaws but over everything, everyone's used the new techniques and they're working, um, whereas before they weren't. And just the amount of growth that was in that episode and just seeing everything come together was so beautiful and then having the imagery of the cogs one by one coming together as the all synchronized he did the synchro attack they did the new quick nishinora um nailed his new jump and yeah overall what a fantastic episode i got so hyped it was just like yeah haiku brings in that the inner hype that i don't normally get and haiku somehow every episode a lot of episodes get me to be hyped it's such a fantastic show and it's a lovable story but as usual i just want to jump straight into this episode guys so guys if you want to enjoy if you enjoy the video leave a like subscribe Check out the early access to the highlights along with along with the timer reactions and also doing two week over at Patreon if you're interested. Do this. Look at his face in the back. Oh, look how sad he is. That should do pretty well to be fair. You know, this is like a never ending game, it's just a practice. It's nice no team kind of perform without their ace though. Jump is my favourite move on this show, I love it. It's just a boop, boop, so cheeky. They're doing well, fuck. You think about the ace would have fell apart there, but nope. Keep going. <laughs> yes, the cheek. I love it. Don't do shut out. So he aims for his boy. Look at his visor about to shine. Pick yourself back up, boy! I love that, that's proper teamwork. I love how you always get insight into the every team, that was awesome. Just like, yeah, they picked, on my boy. They picked the boy back up. They all planned that perfectly. That was a good fucking job, what about them? Respects. You know, I'm not even disappointed that they lost that. That was actually a really, like... They felt that they deserved that bit at the end. And that's what I like. Sometimes you can feel like a sports anime is bullshit and lost, but yeah. This is it. This is a. Uh, you go a little bit. There we go. Back to. It. <laughs> wow, is that simple to figure out? I don't know. He's great. I can't even be mad at that. They're back to normal now, I'm happy. I could imagine I couldn't imagine reading the manga without the epic music this show brings to the table. That boy number 12, I want him to have a moment. Of course, they have to do that. Do 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 Mate, the passion I feel every time. I wonder if it's going to dive more into the bench's frustration. I know it's dived quite a lot into it, but I want to dive in more into it because I feel like really bad for him. But the situation's. It's an interesting situation. I'm glad the show boy up early on in the season. The I love how badass and grown up he looks, but he's just the complete opposite. I love him. Well, he is still badass, you know. I mean, he's just such a big softy. Oh, love it. Oh. Barbecue boy, the meat. The well deserved victory. She liked our onions. <laughs> I wonder why she was crying then. <laughs> the onions were there. Oh, he's not calling out. I want 
food now. Fuck, I was, I was going to eat before I recorded, but now, now I have regrets. Because I didn't. Oh, some. Stop. Why does anime food have to do this to me? Why does it always have to make me hungry? Look at how coggy on. Oh, nicked. That tongue. She's got a future in industry. <laughs> I love how they've just got waifu protection status all over them. For fuck's sake. That is some really well detailed faces. What the fuck are they doing? Imagine having them defending you. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of them are massive. He's going to hit her. He's small. I might be eaten by accident. Oh, she burnt food. Looks pretty dangerous. Oh, imagery, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Where did all these waifus appear? I forgot. It's quite a few. The one sitting with her legs up's the best girl. Just say, Tog action for life. I can't wait to see him again. Oh, mate, he's hyping the big three. <laughs> they are literally the big three. Why is it always? Why is it always a thing in Japan? There's always like the big three, if you know what I mean. A lot of shows. That like, always seems to be free. I guess it's always top three. <laughs> Hey, what, my plight, boy. It's a good thing inviting them. The growth they got from this one area is great. That guy's doing bits for our team. Guess show his respect for his old rival. He wants them to be strong for that ultimate fight. That's really sad. That is sad when you think about it. <laughs> Every year that team would be the team would be different if you got third years in there. Oh. I love how it's got the two we don't know facing backwards. <laughs> Look forward to meeting them. No. That was a really good arc. I love that little training arc. That was fun, fascinating. I really grown to like a lot of the opponents as well. So the arc definitely did justice in that department. But what I like is we got to know these guys, but we still got the the, the the three big mysteries as well on top of that, which is great. So it's not kind of what it's called yet. Nice. Is she okay? Oh, she's just nervous. <laughs> oh wait, she hasn't been into an official match, has she? I just I forgot, she weren't there before. It's not like she's been here for so long, the way they've introduced her. They've introduced her so well that I just feel like she's just been part of the team from the start. I'm glad the day came about three episodes to her. He's totally got it though. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited for his growth as well. I like how they give him a bit of time and then put him as a bencher as well. He's, he's, a, he's, a cool, he's a cool kid. I want to have some big moments. Oh, man, you can see his child's brother. Have they never actually talked about what happened then? Oh, is this the big moment, to be fair? Ooh, there we go. Bringing it up. I like how they went into this brother's situation. They really went into more about benching there. There we go. Smile for my boy. He cracked it out. I love it. This growth is so beautiful. He's so beautiful. I love how they're just always practicing. They, 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 they wonder they do terrible in school. The fuckers don't do any films but volleyball. It's beautiful though. 
Yes. <laughs> that imagery is so fucking cool. <laughs> I love it. Didn't even need to show us them hit it. That imagery was cooler than that. Having <laughs> the crow come in. That was so much awesome. That was so awesome. Oh, it is his dad. Oh, no, that's you. Well, I'm being dumb. <laughs> Thought if we do the flashback to that photo. <laughs> I love this guy. He's a fucking tower. Absolute tank. I can't wait to see him again. When he, he was my favourite to watch block. I love the Iron Wall match. Why have we got so many good opponents? Fucking hell. They built up so many characters in this show. I don't know how they've done such a fucking good job with it. Yeah, I want to see more of this beast. I always love when they hype up super OP characters. He just looks like he's from Corona in a basket from what the images I've seen of the show. <laughs> he looks like he's in the wrong show. <laughs> the Japanese match. Mate, I'm ready. The build up has been great. I've loved the build up to this. Fucking hell. Any halfway, we're not even halfway through the season yet. That's madness. Another great episode, a really good way had a really good way to cap off um the training arc. The training arc was so much fun. The amount of character growth we got there. I was invested in I was so invested just in training games, so I can't even think how invested I'm gonna get into these next arc games. Especially because the first tournament we had, I really really enjoyed it. And it actually focused only on two or three two two but two teams, enemy team, two or three enemy opponent teams. And some it didn't even give full screen time to, but I fucking loved it. Whereas this time we've got to know so many characters, and then plus we got the characters from season one, like the war, the, the 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 Iron Wall team. That when we actually get to those games, that's going to be just insane as well. On top of that, like yeah, this show's done a fantastic job of building the opponent teams up, give you three or four, about three characters each team to focus on and get to know. And I and even then in this this episode when our team lost to lost, it's like I. I, I I weren't mad at it because sometimes when I watch sports anime, it's just like you shouldn't have lost that. Whereas that they, they played, their opponents played so well. I was like, I could not be mad at how well they played there by doing the whole like switching at the perfect moment to his mate, to his guy who's been like down, but he's finally got the motivation to hit the ball again. That switch was just amazing. Um, I like how we got the little conversation between two brothers at the end as well. Um, I think that was probably the first time they've mentioned it. And yeah, that's I think that's closure for that uh, that little storyline with his brother. I'm glad we're jumping into the benches a bit more with like his bro, um, Shuki's bro, for example. And I can't wait to jump into more of our team's benches because like we've only seen him frustrated a little bit, and we've seen him, well, not a little bit, we've seen him quite a bit. But I can't wait to see more of it, if you know what I mean, because it's quite it's, it's quite an interesting topic, and I'm glad the show's actually touched upon that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the version. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching the video guys, as always, I'm much appreciated. Feel free to check out Patreon if you want early access and uncuts. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of this content. Along with, I've got a playlist and best match for you. Hopefully you enjoy the content, continue enjoying the content guys. And yeah, hope to see you in the next one.